Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Karen with Fairy Garden Bath and in today's video we are going to be making another one of my favorite products, uh, solid lotion bars. Now these are, I don't know, I love them. I think they're fantastic. Um, they're kind of like a neat alternative to your typical lotion, like liquidy kind of lotion. They are solid. You'll see in the end what I mean, but they're a lot of fun and I find that they work really, really good on if you have really dry skin. You know, my hands are extremely dry. Can't see with the gloves on, but um, it helps, you know, with my hands that are cracking constantly, it helps heal the cracks. I have a friend that uses it on her feet. She puts it on her feet and then puts the socks on and she said it has healed up her feet and they feel fantastic now. So let's just get started. So today, this is a really easy recipe. It only really calls for five ingredients. So we have our shea butter. I'm using sweet almond oil, but I mean, you could really use any oil you like. You could do jojoba oil, um, apricot kernel oil, you know, whatever oil you really like, you could use. And then I'm also using this, I can never say it right, Candelia wax. I think that's how you say it. And for fragrance, I'm going to be using today Pink Sugar and Balsam from Wendy Point. It's, I, I love it. I, I think it smells, it's kind of Christmassy. It's kind of wintry. It smells like a sweet pine tree, like a Christmas tree you'd have in your house. It's, I love it. So I'm going to do that. I know Christmas is over and it's still winter where we are, but you know, winter is eventually going to come to an end. I could do a different scent, but for now, that's what I'm doing. And then we're going to put a little bit of vitamin E in. So let's start weighing out our ingredients. I forgot my spoon. Okay. So let's grab my melting pot. I use this. <laughs> it's old double boiler, but it works really good for melting. So we need... I'm doing a pretty big batch today, 1200 grams total, so because I want 12 lotion bars. So I need 594 grams of shea butter. Now I like the refined shea butter, but you could use the unrefined too. That would I don't see why not. I don't see why it wouldn't work. Four sixty five twenty six five seventy one five ninety two. There we go, 5.94. And I need 390 grams of the almond oil. And 180 grams of the Candelia, Lila, Candelia. I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing that horribly. I'm, I am terrible at pronouncing things. Candelia, the wax. 180. There we go. 
180 grams. Okay, and now I will get some water. So this is the bottom of my pot. So you can see it just sits right on top. It's like an old school double boiler. Get some water. Just sits there just like that, and then we'll put it on the stove. Now we just have to wait for that all to melt, and once it's melted, we will put in our fragrance and our uh, vitamin E. But in the meantime, we can weigh out our fragrance. I am going to do two percent fragrance so. 24 grams total. Oops. A little low over there. There we go. And then I'll pour in my vitamin E at the very end. Actually, I might weigh it out now so it's ready to go. I just have to grab a little cup. One, right back. Okay, I have these little Dixie cups, so I will just use that and I want 1% which works out to 12 grams there we go perfect 12 grams and then let's put that to the side and I will link the recipe in the description box below so you can have a look and I'll put it in percentages as well so if you don't want to make such a big batch a 1200 gram batch you know you can break it down to just do 100 grams which for these molds that I'm going to use today work out to about 100 grams each so hopefully I've done my math right and I uh, will get 12 I have some backup more just in case just in case I go over so now we play the waiting game instead of uh me just babbling away here I'll take a pause and once everything is melted I'll show you and we'll pour into our molds and then uh and then we have to play the waiting game again because they take about 24 hours to cool so I will uh, let them cool for 24 hours and then tomorrow when they're ready, I will show you. But for now, let's wait, okay. So just in case you're curious to see, this is my double boiler in action. He's heating up really good. I got it on high so that it comes to a boil. There's only about an inch of water in the bottom so there's no risk for it bubbling over or anything. And with this big a batch, it's probably going to take a while. So this might take, I don't know, like I'm guessing maybe 20 minutes to half an hour. So yeah, so there it is. I, um, I couldn't tell you where to find one of these double boilers. I've looked online and I have not been able to find another one. I don't know if they just don't exist anymore or... I don't know, you know, I suppose you could go to like thrift stores and see if you could find one. Because I, I love it. I think it works perfectly. You could also just use a water bath. So, you know, like just saying like take the bottom pot and say I didn't have the top and place your glass bowl in the water bath. And that would melt it too. That would work as well. Like if I had a bigger batch than this, I probably wouldn't be able to fit it in the top pot. I'd have to do it. Uh, the uh, water, boiling water method. All right. So that is that for now. I will, sorry if you hear that clicking, that's my dog having a walk around, seeing what's happening. So I will see you in a little while. Not quite there yet.
still got a few chunks of shea butter, so we're just waiting on those. But it's slowly getting there, getting close. Okay, it's done. Let's get it off the heat. And I was going to pour it in this pouring pitcher, but I don't think it's going to fit. So I'm just going to have to pour from the pot. But let's get our fragrance oil poured in. Give this a good stir. I don't know if this is the same as making candles but they say you know you should slowly stir once you put the fragrance oil for a minute or two two minutes just so the fragrance oil molecules bind to the wax so I mean there is wax in this so I suppose it could be kind of similar I'm not really sure but I'm just giving it a good stir making sure the fragrance oil is well incorporated into our butter and oil mixture and wax mixture. And I'm also allowing it to cool a little bit before I put my vitamin E. I don't know what temperature vitamin E is supposed to go in. I thought it was heat sensitive and I've been trying to look it up and I can't find anything. So I thought it was like supposed to be one, no, no higher than 120. But if anyone out there is watching and you know what temperature vitamin E should go in, please comment it and let me know. Cause I'm not entirely sure. Like I'm just gonna put it in and I might just be wasting vitamin E if it just burns off. Cause I'm just not entirely sure if it's heat sensitive or not. Okay, well, let's get our vitamin E. Let's put that in. And I must say, this smells absolutely amazing. I love it. I think it works perfectly for a lotion bar. And for scents, you could do any scent you want. A um, couple of different ones I've done for friends and family. I did a eucalyptus one. I've done lime and coconut, mango, coconut. Um, what else did I do? Peppermint. I bet peppermint and rosemary would be awesome. And I think it's just kind of a preference as well that if you don't like using fragrance oils in your lotions and like body care products just use, stick to essential oils sweet orange would probably be awesome in this lemon any essential oil i think would be good this is just one i like okay i think that's good now let's pour this into mold okay fingers crossed here Oops, I'm already making a mess. Okay, I am actually gonna pour this into my pouring pitcher because I'm pouring it everywhere. got it all over my floor but not to worry it cleans up pretty easily
No, I looks like my I didn't do my math right. I'm not gonna get 12. Mind you, these could be over 100 grams. I was just kind of guesstimating 100 grams. Yeah, so I got, oh no, I did get 12. What am I talking about? I don't know what I'm talking about, but I did get 12. Look at that. Kind of point that down a bit. There we go. So 12 in a little bit. And if I honestly really wanted to, I probably could take my pouring pitcher because there's quite a bit in there and melt it down and pour it into a mold. But I'm kind of feeling kind of lazy tonight, so I don't think I'm going to do that. So we are going to let these set. I'm not going to move them until they're set. And if I was smart, I would have put them on a cookie sheet, but I wasn't smart tonight and didn't do that. Um, yeah, so I'm not going to move them for a while until they are they're a little bit harder because otherwise they're just going to splash everywhere. And you could put them in the fridge and that would harden them up really fast as well. So maybe I'll actually do that and then I could show you one in a couple hours. Hang on, my dog is barking. I have to go see what he's barking at. Hmm, nope, I was going to try to move them, but... Yeah, there's no way I can pick them up without it going everywhere. So I'm just going to have to wait. Um, but yeah, I'm going to let them sit for a bit. Once they've set enough, I can pick them up. I'm going to pop them in the fridge. And maybe in a couple hours, I'll be able to show you what they look like. If not, definitely tomorrow. So just in case anyone's curious on how you would clean this up, all I'm doing is just using a spoon and scraping all the wax. And see, I probably... If, yeah, if I would have melted that down, I probably would have had enough for one more, but that's okay. That's all I do. I just scrape down, and then I take some paper towels, and I clean up the rest of the wax off of it. And then I'll give it a wash and give it a sanitize. And that is it. It's really, it's pretty simple to clean. So I just wanted to show you in the couple minutes it took me to clean up my mess, you can see some of them have already started to solidify. So it, it doesn't take too long, but I mean, you want to give them the full day or a couple hours in the fridge just to be on the safe side. Because if you pop them out too early, they'll just, they'll be mush and the design on top won't come out all nice. But yeah. All right, it is the next day. So let's have a look at our lotion bars and see how they turned out. I'd say that's pretty good. Yeah, they're not sticking, so they had enough time to cure. It's been about almost exactly 24 hours since I made them. And we got a couple that when I moved them, they kind of cracked a bit. You can see on the bottom, but it's on the bottom, so I'm not too worried. But there's another pretty one. Yeah, so they turn out pretty good. So Real quickly, I know this video is already getting kind of long, but I wanted to show quickly how I package them up too. So all I do is I take a, some parchment paper, place the lotion bar in, and roll it up, fold it over, like so. And then I have some string that I just tie around it, keep the parchment paper together. Just like that. And that is it. So that is how I package them up. And then I'll put a label on it too, just with the name and the scent. That is how I make lotion bars. So I hope you liked the video. If you did, give me a thumbs up and uh, a subscribe would be awesome. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye.